Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fifth episode of King Penny's podcast. I appreciate y'all guys joining in. Hey, man, got a special guest today, man. We talking about a philanthropist, a barber. Overall, you sit in this chair, he a therapist, you know what I mean? He'll help That's you true. with life in general, man. He gives back to the community, man. And I want to welcome him, man. You guys enjoy. You guys going to enjoy this episode, man. Let's get to it, man. A special guest, man. So I want to ask you, man, what's your name? Man, my name is Cesar Pulido, man. I'm from originally from Los Angeles. I'm a barber in Inglewood now. My what is how you call it? My Instagram thing. Yeah, what's your handle? My Instagram is Caesar the Barber LLC, and you can catch me at Game Seven Barbershop. Hey man, hey you boy, you got right to plug it. Yeah, hey, you can too, reach man. me. Hey, that's how you got to do it. You got to get out in front of them things. What's the family situation look like? You got family fam? situation, man. I got my significant other, man. I'm engaged. I got four kids. We have a little set of twins, a little boy. The autistic son, he's seven, about to be seven years old, and an older stepdaughter. Really, my daughter, she's nine years old, going on ten. That's beautiful, man. How do you manage, like, the family and uh, the barber shop? I mean, the barber stuff and everything like that, oh, man. Oh, it's hectic for sure, but I make sure to like, come home and at least uh, come see them every day for sure. Sure, it can't be easy, like, uh, with the autistic uh, son, oh, man. How is that? I say he's autistic, but, like, he's six, seven years old, so we kind of our ways with him and how he is, and, man, he's, man, he's the greatest. Man, that's Sometimes great. I got to slow him down, but, man, he's the greatest, bro. Yeah. I love having him, bro. Even on my worst days, even having him is great, bro. Yeah, Father's sure. Day was a couple weeks ago, man, so happy Father's Day, yeah, man. You, I want to sure. give you a shout-out for that. Because I did uh, see, like, when I called you up here, I saw a couple posts and stuff like that that you put on Instagram with yeah. your family, man. It's a beautiful thing, yeah. man. Like, I see you guys eat. Yo, boy, y'all always that's be eating, bro. That's one thing, bro. I don't really get to with work. I be busy going back and forth, but that's one thing when I do eat, man. I got to eat good because I got to be a big meal to the last yeah. Day. So, what's up with the shop? Like, uh, what's it called again? Game Seven Barber Shop, man. So, for everybody you want to know, it's a vintage slash barber shop. My boy D Mac, my homeboy, the owner, bro, got it a cool setup, man. From the moment I came out here, I looked at the shop, and man, he's made it ten times better. We got a bunch of vintage clothing from sportswear, shirts, t-shirts, jackets, puffers, hats. He actually does his own brand, if you could see, man. The Game Seven right there. Mm -hmm. Has his own gear too, so if you're in Inglewood, you need a haircut, man, hit us up. Game 7 Barbershop or Caesar the Barber, man. Boy, we have never had nobody plug this many things <laughs> in the first two minutes. Hey, but man, we got to do this. That's a lot man. of good stuff going on. Man, but the main thing I want to bring you on here for, bro, like I saw a video of you cutting hair sure. downtown. You know what I mean? Right. Can you explain, like, how you got in? First of all, let's just start with the barber thing. How long you been cutting hair? I'm kind of going on like five years now, cutting five hair. Years? Yes, sir. You like it? Like man, it? I love, man, I love it, bro. This man it saved my life, bro. I love it. Well, it takes a lot of patience, though, sometimes. Like, man, I have four kids. It's a set of twin girls. Bro. <laughs> so the patience is yeah, built in. Yeah, right? it's nothing, bro. Nah, so, but I want to know how you got involved because I, the video I saw, like, was you cutting hair for, like, uh, unhoused community. Right. I mean, I guess a lot of people call them homeless, but I guess the politically correct term is unhoused. Unhoused, right. So, you know what I mean? Like, how did you get involved in that? I have a client that she's like a social worker and has her own company in Section 8. It's called Be Connected. And she, I guess, ran across the Mutual Aid Monday and she sent me a post of what they were doing. And we linked, I hit them up like, yo, they actually had a post prior to that. I went through their stuff mm -hmm. and actually replied on the barber one. And I've been showing up ever since. They said they needed a barber, and I've been with them ever since. And barbers always have Mondays off, right? For, nah. Is that I, a normal thing? Like, cause I, all barbers I'm here. I, since I've been out here, it's yeah. like Sunday, Mondays, Tuesdays. This is funny, man. But I'm from Florida, bro. We're, we're cut hair open day. every day, bro. That right. is, is, uh, so that's Mutual Mondays. Mutual Aid Mondays. Much, mutual Aid Mondays. Right. Bro, but I've seen you on a Winning Wednesday. Right. And right. you know what I mean? Like, I had... Uh, Katrina, you know what I mean? She's a camera, uh, she's a camera person, a yeah, photographer, she, uh, and she also participates too. So when I was going through her stuff, and that, that's when I peeped you cutting hair, and I was just right. like, whoa, 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 whoa. Who are all these people? And you know what I'm For saying, sure, giving back man. to the community. So I was just like, man, trying to put them on blast and try to tap in, like to see how you got involved with that. But the mutual, which guy, how did you get involved with the Winning Wednesdays? With the though? Winning Wednesdays, man, that, man, just Winning Wednesdays is big, a lot going on. Natasha got a lot of stuff going on with that. But Natasha actually lives, her roommate is my client, and she used to do the Mutual Aid Monday back in the day. So yeah. 
through, I guess she got wind of what I was doing through both of them and called, gave me a call one day and man, I was there and I'm there every Wednesday now. Man, I'm trying to tell you because I, I like I, I, when I when I pulled it up, bro, I seen you on the news. For sure. I seen you on everybody's feed. Everybody, you uh, everybody's right. barber now who's right. somebody trying, like that. I'm trying to be, bro. And I was just sure. and, and you just told me about this uh, L.A. design that you did. For sure, man. Or it's whatever. Design. I'm, I'm going to the Dodgers game today with my son. Yeah. So I threw a big old L.A. on the back of his head. And actually, the news reporter reposted it on there. Hey, so man, that's Shout love. out to CBS, Colorado. That's, that's love right For there, sure, man. man. That's what's up, man. Make sure you get one of them Rocky dogs. Man, I'm trying them to hot dogs. I need to do it up, bro. Hey, Ma, you know, Ma, I'm from L.A., bro. <laughs> Next time, I'll probably do the Dodgers and the Rockies. So yeah. I'm hoping to go on a Thursday, too. So, I mean, I'll throw the Rockies in on the side or something. Oh, okay. All sure. right. You got a uh, favorite style of haircut. You got a favorite, man, like, uh, really... Anything that goes down to skin, bro, it could be a, a blowout or ten fade, high ten fade, low skin fade, high skin fade, mohawk, first fade, no matter what it is, as long as you get down to the skin and you can see that blend, that fade, man, I love it, bro. Nah, that's what's up. Sure. So where did you, uh, so I, I did read the article and stuff like that. I saw it and it said, it mentioned some stuff about addiction and jail sure. and Things like that. Like I want to talk about it, but I don't want to stay there. For but sure. I just want to want to want to quick little recap, yeah. man. It's quick, like oh, man. Well, I was raised in Los Angeles. My dad smoked crack, man. When I was a, before being born and all that, he always wasn't in and out of the picture. He was going to prison. I eventually started smoking, hanging outside, and then my mom moved. We moved to Florida, and the drugs just got crazier. And sure enough, I've been addicted to my drugs my whole life. I've been to prison, went to prison when I was like 19 years old, got out when I was 26. And still, while I was in there, addicted to K2, so I kind of came out on a habit. And thank God, I went through some stuff, got locked up and got clean, bro. And I'm going on three years sober now, and that's where it's, I guess my mind started working properly and what I can do and what I can do in, this, in the community, bro. And mm. Denver and all the people I've been meeting out here, man, it's been just an outlet for everything. Like I said, on Wendy Wednesdays, I met you through there, bro. So that's how I'm here. And they got a lot of stuff going on, bro. Nah, that's super cool, bro. Like sure. I said, I don't want to stay on it, yeah, but sure. I do want to. I do want to ask you though. So, you did the prison thing, you did the drug thing, and everything like that. How do you? And this is a, a totally separate question. I'm sure you weren't sure. prepared for, it, but this is man, what I want. Shoot, but I want to know is how do you navigate now? moving in this direction versus your old life like your friends and stuff like that because i'm sure you have people still on man. you know what i mean that other side and stuff like that how do you navigate both like nowadays it, i really haven't changed since i had my partner and the kids i've always just worked and gone home i was just be home on drugs so there's always been like a respect like we're friends but we're not always out and about and nowadays now like i said they always see me on drugs so now they see me not on drugs and doing all this positive stuff, they salute it. They don't mind that I'm away or hold another state. I come by, they say what's up, come through for a haircut. Oh, it doesn't change and my people or anything for it's just the lifestyle that I live. Like I don't do drugs or stay away from that. All right. And then the last question, do you have any advice for anybody on re in recovery or on drugs now? Like, do you have any like advice for my words of wisdom, man? Man, it's hard, bro, but man, Imagine the stuff you do get done on drugs say like how get good you feel you be doing is you could do 10 times much better not addicted to drugs when you have your mental on what you're doing. Like I said, I'm a year in Denver and like I said, my man, thank you for putting my stuff out there. I've been getting a lot done when my mind's focused on one thing instead of getting high. And bro, it's hard, bro. It's, you, you lose a lot, man. And there's nothing's worse than losing over a drug or high that that's not going to last. Like a friendship, the lose that's gonna last forever, bro. You gonna lose everything by drugs, either. and I almost did, bro. I was that close, bro. And my partner was just stuck around for everything, bro. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's legit. Because sure. it's tough, it's tough to have that kind of support, man. And also, yeah. too, I want to salute you, man, for appreciate you, just bro. the the pivot and the move forward, man. That's yeah. what, and that's what it's all about. And that's what I want to focus about on this, man. You know what I mean? That stuff's in the past and yeah, things like sure. that. But the way you're moving forward now is inspiring, man. Appreciate but you. But I want to know, like, so getting back to this barber thing, what's the overall goal, like, it, it, in the barber career? Like, what's the What's the end game to I own your own shop or to 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 continue to grow seven or what's the man? I, man, I love that idea. Like I said, man, Derek at Game Seven, man, helped me out with a lot. Showed me this world too. Like 
get out there. We have the feed the block back home. I don't know if you heard. Yeah. It's a feed the block where you come through. They sell shoes, vintage stuff, toys. Like everybody comes around to give community, and a percentage of that goes back to the block and stuff. Oh, man. So that's where I first started giving out free haircuts and started meeting more people and actually doing it more and more. But my angle is to do stuff like that. Like right now, probably be the first time I'm telling everybody. So y'all know now, lock in the date, August 12th. I'm gonna be doing my first big event would be with haircuts and everything's gonna be focusing on kids going back to school. Yeah. I partnered up with Tay Anderson. He's used to be the vice president of school boards. He's now running for um, House of Representatives in District 8. Oh, okay. So he's, I had the pleasure to go through him and he's got me, um, I think it's Manual High School yeah. for this event. And we will be giving out back school supplies. We're gonna be giving out haircuts. We're gonna have some food. Bouncy houses, little snow cone machine kind of, and then I'm hoping to get with Feed the Block and have some vendors there. Yeah. And all the proceeds from those vendors that for the vending spot would be going to school supplies. Bro, but I'm trying to figure out, right? So you do the Mondays thing, the Wednesdays thing, whatnot like that. When you get your like, when do you get your financial? You know what I mean. Your when do you get your bread? Oh, the days I'm not doing it for free, I'm be at the shop every day, all night, man. Yeah, yeah book, man. You got go to Game7.com, Game7Barbershop.com, and book online. I'm like, you can see my schedule. Caesar when the it, barber. If huh? I'm not out giving time, and when my family about to go to sleep, I'm cutting. I'm at the barbershop, bro. No, nah, that's yes, legit, sir. man. That's really good, man. But like I said, man, I just see all the videos and all the postings and stuff like that. And I just be like, man, where is, where does this dude got an endless amount of energy, bro? <laughs> bro, it's like I said, like, I cannot say I'm not addicted to anything because I am fuck cutting hair, bro. Yeah? That's my, I can say that's my new drug, that's bro. That's the new addiction. Sure. Nah. I love doing it, bro. I'm, I open my eyes and I be ready to go. Like, I recently started doing early bird. So, so I opened up early from 8 to 10. Mm -hmm. And you come in, it's your first time you get any service half off. Oh, okay. So you just got to go on there, book on ahead of time and visit our neighbors with Kaladi's, um, Kaladi's Coffee. Yeah. And come on in there with the coffee, saying you're early bird, man, and 50% 50, 50 off any service. Man, that's... Man, that's yeah, that's, that's like I said. I just try to spend my time be doing something and not... Okay. Yeah. So say, for instance, so, what, so what's the... So outside of this event that you got going on in, in August, it's August 12th, right? August 12th. August 12th, right? So besides that event, right... What's another short term like goal, like for, by the end of the year or something like oh, that? Like, like what is like as far as just you personally? Just like me personally, yeah, for sure. That's I'm gonna start small too. I got a couple months. I've been looking for a good place where I don't know. There's a lot of places, but I want to know consider like because I do that on Monday and Tuesdays with Monday mutual aid Monday and winning Wednesdays. I want to do my own thing on Tuesdays where it ain't even got to be as big as they do it with food. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm trying to figure out how I could do it with the food, but at least every Tuesday we show up to a corner where I know the, the homeless or how on house yeah. are there always and hook them up with free haircuts. So what have you, all right, so this is, so a lot of people like, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> here in this city, right? <clears throat> there's a disconnect, bro, between some people and the unhoused community. And some people em like embrace them and understand what they're going through. Right. Some people be like, nah, man, you got to get a job, man. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. and there's like a, I wouldn't say a, uh, I wouldn't say a clash or anything like that, but there's different opinions, right? Yeah, for sure. Everybody does. What has been your experience dealing with the people from unhoused community? Because I'm sure you had some experiences that were bad and some that were good. So yeah, what has like been, let's, let's start off, let's just start off with the bad. Bro, like, what's been, like, the worst kind of experience, if there has been? If there hasn't been, there hasn't been. But, like, what is, like, the worst the experience? The worst house? Yeah, like, that, that you've had to deal with. Like, they feel, like, entitled to something. That's been my worst. Like, I've actually had somebody get out of my chair because the way they were talking to me and I, the way I talked back to them, like, like, if I was there to serve him, I'm like, I'm there to serve you, but not on how you want to. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do whatever haircut you want, but you're not going to talk to me like that. And they're like, oh, I'm going to go tell so-and-so. I'm like, go tell my boss. Mm -hmm. Oh, who can I contact? I'm like, here goes, like, I gave her my card. Like, yeah. I'm on my own boss. You can't go to nobody for me. Yeah. But they feel entitled, bro. Like, I understand, like, like I said, I don't know. Sometimes I don't feel bad because, like, I, I see them, like, yo, I could have been in that position. 
any day. So on that day, I tell him, I, t- I sit there every time I sit there to talk to him, I tell him my back story. I tell him what I've been doing, what I've been through, how was I at it, to help them, motivate them to, yo, like, yo, if I could, hopefully you're like, yo, I'm going to give you a haircut. I don't care if I cut your hair every week, go try to get a good job. I'll get you, I'll get you a haircut every week. I don't mind. If you get there on the list and you sit there and wait for me, I'm going to get you. If you get, that's one thing that, like, there's some, the one that, bit, I don't say it's the worst, but pisses me off people that sit there and are high. Yeah. That I don't like, I feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. I can't say that. Sometimes I want to tell them like, "Nah, bro, I'm not gonna cut your hair," but I'm there to provide services. So I don't want to tell people no. But sometimes I feel like telling them. I know they're high, like, bro, they're sweating, and you can smell the alcohol. Yeah. Like me being where I'm coming from, an addict. Like I don't want to be. Around so I do want to plug this while you're right here, sure. man. Hey, if you do come out to these events and stuff like that, if anybody from the unhouse community or anybody from the community in general. Let's try to make it as healthy as possible, as positive as possible. That means, like, you know what I mean? Don't come out here high. Don't come out here, like, you know, you know, try to try to present yourself the best po- in the best possible light and stuff like that. Because people are out here doing a service. People are out here trying to help and stuff like that. And so I would say I would ask you guys, you know what I mean, just to respect that. And that's, like I said, for, for the unhoused community, for the people in the, uh, in the house community who probably differ against them helping you know what i mean just be respectful about it and just respect the people who are giving their time and their skill and stuff like that to make this event better and make the community better in the best possible way so pivoting off that though but i want to ask you um what's been the best experience like what is, what has filled you like you know what i mean with the best when dealing with the unhoused community it's a special one dude kevin he comes every week because you know he's unhoused but He's a real good, smart dude, bro. He's got a job since I've been cutting his hair for that same reason. Yeah. He's don't get greedy with it. He comes every other week and gets touched up. Even though I tell him, like, nah, bro, you got to stay fresh. But he's, man, bro, that fool, I've been talking to him and, like, he felt entitled to things, but he was raised a whole different lifestyle than I was. And I explained him my lifestyle during the haircut, and I basically changed his whole views on life. And... He's actually been putting in work when he was one of those guys that felt entitled to stuff. Nah, that's super man, cool, that, bro. I love it, man. Every time I seen him, bro, it's cool. I was talking to him and all that. He's moving. He started as cleaning the bag. He's serving tables now, bro. So that's dope, bro. I love that. Bro. And now nah, that's super cool too that you can progress with him. You For say sure, he got yeah. a job now. He, he's 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 moving. He's moving forward in life, yeah, man. That's what is, the whole bro. thing is about, man. You. Cause you honestly, I mean, I mean, you're a barber. You cut somebody up good, bro. You kind of changed their life yeah, at least bro, for that for day. Sure. At least that you got all the whole day. They, <laughs> yeah. up there. they think they, you know. I, that's why I love it. Like every day, ain't been one time that I know they're sitting there gloomy and they walk off yeah. like that. Like smiling. they got them food and they tell me one. They got themselves a good conversation yeah. and they're looking good, bro. I love it. Hey, look here and plug the local barbers for too sure. here in Longmont, man. Uh, District three hundred three, the Art of Hair. They got some great barbers over there. Creative Minds. Man, these dudes, they be doing all kinds of designs. Everybody be doing great fades, man. So here in the city also, too, maybe I can challenge them to maybe do one of of these events or, you know what I mean, something like that where they where they maybe get back, hey, or if they already do, I apologize if you already do, go ahead and yeah. drop the link in this comment, man, For and sure, I, I'll man. Uh, make sure I add it to the video, and I'll come back and apologize if I missed it, you know what I mean? So, yeah. that's I'm great, touch man. touch on one point on go this, ahead. since you're saying not the city, all the surrounding areas, my boy Dane Vickers over at Banter Barber has this thing gone called Show, um, For the Love, if all barbers come out from all different cities, man, it should be dope, bro. If you ain't heard about it, look it up, man, it's For the Love. I think the next one is on the ninth. I don't know specifics, but look it up. Look up Banter Barber, um, Dane Bix, and For the Love, man. Brings all the barbers together. Everybody showcases their skills. Ain't no competition. Everybody go out there and just show their skills, man. And also, too, I'll get all this information from him and make sure I plug the accurate, like, the dates. Because, I mean, he gave general dates. But I'll make sure. I will look them up later on and put all the real, like, the good dates and the hours on there so you guys can check out these events, man. You got a lot of people doing a lot of great things, man. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day, man. We want to give back, uplift the community, and get people in a better space, man. Because when you give people something, you know what I mean, or you take care of them, man, they remember that forever. And down the line, like I said, like you said, the one guy, Kevin, who... You know what I mean? Yeah, You've been bro. helping. He's got a job now. Now he's serving food. Yeah, that's like, food, you know what I mean? Yeah. The progression of just people like 
You know what I mean? They see the good stuff that you're doing. And that's what the whole thing about this podcast is, man. I want them to see it and hopefully they get inspired. They get into it. And then yeah, maybe if they even just give one thing back or, you know, or even come to one of these events and change their attitude. Like, that's you know sure. what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, these these people are great, man. They're giving and stuff like that. And don't have that entitled feeling and stuff like that. So it's all good stuff. So my last few questions I want to uh, revolve around being a barber, right? So what would you say to a young barber or even an old barber or whatever trying to break into the field of in a highly com- – like, I mean, it's a, yeah, there's a lot of barbers is, out bro. here, man. You go out here and catch a cut. Bro, <laughs> you bro, go out here bro, and catch bro, a cut. Man, so anyway. what would you say about – like, what would you tell a young barber, an up-and-coming barber getting into the field? What advice? Man, consistency, man. Like they say in anything, consistency, bro. Don't compare yourself to everybody. Learn from everybody. From every single barber, bro, you can learn a lot. I've learned from plenty of barbers down the road. And initially, I don't cut like this guy or that guy. I got all those guys into my one unique. Bro, don't worry about the position you're in at all. Sorry, I'm talking to you, but all y'all barbers now, yeah? (laughs) Man, don't worry about nobody or how good somebody else is doing. Keep working on you. Watch videos, bro. There's so many videos, outlets, barbers you could be watching for everything, bro. YouTube. Bro, everything, podcast, bro, be everybody, all sorts of stuff. But don't worry about the next man. Learn from him, bro, and don't compare yourself to them, bro. Just keep doing you and every day go at it, man. For real, for real. Nah, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's cool. Oh, before I forget, yeah, shout out my, 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 my youngster, AVM Cuts. Hey, he be out here helping the unhoused community as well, man. That's like, I forgot him. Up, he, and he comes, like, to uh, to the gym. And he be cutting people outside oh, yeah, sometimes, up, yeah. man, after his workout and stuff. And he have his little clippers with him. And I set him up a little table. He cut a couple heads, man, there. And I, yeah, I totally up. spaced him out, man. I want to make sure I give him a shout out. Sure, um, what you call it? So, don't compare. All right? So, the last question I would have, right, in all this and everything you've done, everything, everywhere you've been in life, you know, L.A., you know what I mean, Miami, here, and stuff like that, and the stuff you've been through and the addiction and everything like that. How has it built you to who you are right here, right now, like as far as a man? Oh, man, I just learned from everywhere. Like, everywhere is different, so now I could kind of like, I don't know, man. I kind of feel like I fit in the world because I got my the left side and the right side, and now it's everybody... I don't know, man. I can't really tell you, bro, but it has changed. Well, I'm sure, like, the experiences you had from, like, back in the day have helped you deal with a lot of, you know what I'm saying, the the clients you have now and the different, you know what I mean? Like, it's all come full circle. Yeah, it's just like, I guess I could not relate to people, but I could kind of understand people more now because how everybody is from all the different cycles, like, different types of way of living and the ways, I guess. I could relate to more people now from everywhere mm-hmm. instead of just being caught up in the world I was in before. Yeah. So that's what I want to thank you, man, for taking the time. For sure. Because I know it's not close coming yeah, from where you coming, mission, man. man. But, but, you know, I want to reach out to, yeah, to sure, uh, talk to you, man, yeah, because, like I said, I see I see you be cutting yeah. hair. And I see uh, the, the celebrity chef, uh, Quest Walker, oh, yeah, he be yeah, doing yeah. his thing. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to uh, Natasha and uh, KOSM. Yeah, Trigger KOSM Futures. Trigger Futures, man. Uh, Katrina uh, for uh, putting me on. Long live the queen at Instagram for putting me on. To, just to Thanks, what's bro. going on out there, man. Because like I said, once I seen these events, man, I was just like, wow, there's a lot going on. A lot of people just yeah, doing man, stuff, man. Cool, bro. And you know, I can't make it down to winning Wednesdays because the schedule don't line up. Like yeah, with my uh, my my gym, I got a free gym For down sure. here. I see and so that, the- man. I'm glad I was in. I didn't tell you I was coming out early in the morning to work out, bro. I didn't know it was this hour out. Yeah, man, like <laughs> yeah. stuff like that. So if you guys ever down here, come down to the weight pile on the Rockies, For 1610 sure. Main Street. Uh, completely free outdoor gym, two sessions a day, 7.30 till 11 in the morning. And then also, again, in the afternoon from uh, 3.30 till uh, 7. So if you guys want to come down, check it out. If you want to come down and just volunteer and spend some time and give back, uh, help people lift, change weights, or if you just want to be around a positive, uh, positive environment, healthy environment, man. Want to thank Caesar the Barber for coming out. Hey, give him the hashtag again for the Instagram. For the Instagram is Caesar the Barber LLC, or the Barber Shop is Game Seven Barber Shop. And then also too is Early Bird Special. If you get the coffee, you come over, man. Half price from eight to ten. 
Uh, all that stuff, man. I, like I said, man, I want to thank you, man, for coming through. Also, too, I want to congratulate you on the life, thank the you, life bro. change, you, the lifestyle change, the family, man, uh, the relationship and stuff like that. It's always a work in progress, always, brother. Bro. But with a positive mind and a positive yeah. attitude like you have and the heart that you have, man, giving back, man, I want to tell you thank you again, man. man. I appreciate you for having me, man. All right, man. So this is uh, King Penny, man. Thank you guys for tapping into episode number five. We're halfway through season one. Man, no telling who we're going to talk to. Could be you. I could hit you in the DM, man. Look, you might want to check your messages, man. King Penny, man. Caesar, man. We're out of here, bro. All right. We'll